Over the decades, the Great Lakes have become famous for its deep water trout and salmon fishery. Every year, thousands of anglers use sophisticated electronics and special rods and reels for trolling. They go offshore to try to find trophy fish in deep water. Many anglers use fluttering spoons. Other anglers use flasher and trolling fly combination. But there's a number of anglers that have actually found that using either a real strip of bait fish or a soft plastic imitation strip of bait fish works really well. The technique is called cut bait rigging. To use this presentation, you need to use a special plastic cut bait head into which you insert either a soft plastic imitation fish strip or actually take a strip of fish that's been salt treated so that it's a little bit firmer and you insert it inside the head. Then you use a pin to hold it there and you're ready to go. The cut bait head holds the strip in place but it also has a little bit of a curvature and it's designed to give that piece of strip bait the right roll. The goal is to troll at the right speed so that you get a gentle rolling action out of the cut bait so that it looks like a fish that's disorientated and can't swim properly and it's literally doing donuts as it's going through the water. Once you hang the cut bait head over the side of the boat and you see the nice rolling action, let your line go out. You can troll straight, but a good tip is to change the direction that you're trolling so that the cut plug will decelerate a little bit and accelerate depending how you make your turns. Sometimes that change in action can really trigger hits. Cut bait works extremely well all season long and usually produces some of the biggest trout and salmon.